This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS application. Hello everyone and welcome back to the new video of Educate WordPress. On this channel, we we'll talk everything about WordPress. And today, we are going to see a plugin which is Web Stories. We can use this plugin to create web stories to show up on our pages. So web stories are very interactive pages that can help you show a story in a very engaging way. So let's see how the web stories looks like. So this is the screenshot of the plugin here. So this is how you create the web stories. And here you can see some of the web stories, how they looks like. So let me just show you directly. So this is one of the web stories created using this. So this is how web stories looks like. You can show videos in it. Even you can show pictures and a message you can use it for news you can publish your own magazine anything you want to display as a story or as a con content on your website you can do it using web stories and it is very engaging and it is also available in autoplay mode so you do not have to tap on this to change the frame so let's create our own web stories now using web stories plugin so we'll go to dashboard, over over to plugin and click on add new. And here we will search for web stories. Web stories by Google, we have to click on install now. And after installation is done, we have to activate this plugin. So now we will activate this plugin. And after activation, you will see it in your install plugin window. And you will see a web story tab on your left side window. Just click on it. You will be landed to the dashboard. So this is the dashboard of web stories here you can click on create new story to create your own story or you can use a prepaid template here so these are all free to use you can directly click on them and use it so uh, let's create a new one you can either use this templates directly let's see how you can create a new one from a blank page so just click on create new stories And it will show you the workspace. So these are the quick tips that you can go one by one to create your own story. So this is a open image gallery. You can directly search for any image you want and you can get it from here, the third party image gallery. You can even get videos, you can get GIFs, you can get stickers. So whatever you want, you can just get it here. It is powered by Tenor right now. And this is for text. You can include the text for the heading, for captions, for label, for paragraphs. These are shapes and stickers for different kind of shapes and putting in a creative way. These are page template. So even on a blank template, you can click on any of this to include it in your page and change the title or the photo or the image you want to so let's upload some media and what i want to create is a web story about new year resolutions so first we will create its background and front page so i have to import the image so to import it i have to click on upload here i will be landed to the media library default media library of wordpress here I will go to upload files 
and select the file that I want to upload. So now I click on this one and click on insert into page. So what I want it to be the background image and the front image both. So what I'll do, I'll drag it in the corner of the page and it will automatically render it as the background. And I can again click on it and drag it to the center to give it an effect like this. So this can act as the front page of my story. And to add a new page, I'll simply have to click on this plus button here, new page. I click on it and this will be the next page. So here what I want is this image. So I'll drag it here onto my page. And then it gets its length. And I also want a text written on above. So this will be the text, some resolution that you should take in 2023. So I can even drag this text block anywhere on the screen and change its length also. And if I click, I can even rotate the text. As you can see, any kind of edit you want to do with the text, either you want to change its color, its background anything you can do it so let's leave it to this one and let's add new page now on this page i want a different kind of image so i can directly get it from my third party image site Just click on the button and search and I'll use this image in the bottom of the page. You can control plus Z to revert back to the changes or you can click on this keyboard shortcuts to see all the keyboard shortcuts available. So now let's add some text above. So for that, we'll go to text and drag and drop the heading. So now to use this same page again, again, we can click on duplicate page and just change the title here. And let's add some more pages to it. So this is it. Uh, I've added enough pages. So to preview your created web story, you can just click on preview button here. It will show you your web stories on different devices at once, just like this on different smartphone devices how your story will show and it will automatically change the pages for you or you can tap on the page you can click on open story here to see the story in your desktop also this is how your story looks like that i've created just now so here's a simple way to create your own web story. It can help you create more engagement posts for your own blog or even for your WooCommerce store. So you can showcase your products with attaching a different kind of storyline into it as an advertisement also. So this has a lot of use cases. And you can create multiple types of story with it. You can put in different kind of animations, videos, and text and font. You can change whatever you want. 
and you can create your own story and choose the way it looks so that it can be more appealing to the viewer or the user so now let's just publish this story that we have created just now i click on publish button here you can add in the about and other things also you can create a new post to add the story to give it a title and publish it so the story will be published along with the post now if you view the post you will be able to see the story and they can get a share button right here above the story so they can directly share it on the different social media handles they will get the link to tell linkedin an email and you can even get the story link to see the story directly and here on web story settings you will get to choose the publisher logo as on the uh, story page that we are making just now you can insert custom fonts also just insert the font you are here and it will fetch it automatically you can turn on data sharing opt in video optimization video cache plugin installation you can do monetization also you can connect your store easily just by clicking here woocommerce or shopify whichever you have and you can choose the settings so seconds to display your story for like it is default for 7 seconds but you can change it or you can turn it to manual so the story will not be changed automatically so these are all about the settings you can see all the stories that you have created also by going to all stories here so that's it for today thank you for watching hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to educate wordpress